When it comes to your video descriptions, there's the old way of putting them all together, or there's the more efficient, more effective, and more organized way that you can put them together. I'm gonna show you that second version using Tube Spanner so you can whip your descriptions together in no time flat and make sure everything is structured right. So let's go to the computer. The very first thing you wanna do, of course, is log into your Tube Spanner account. Once you're in your Tube Spanner account, you wanna come over to your toolbox. In your toolbox, you're going to see smart descriptions. Now, in this case, I have mine favorited. So if you don't see the same thing, just look around down in this area and you'll see the one that says smart descriptions. Click on that. When you do, it's gonna bring you to this page of smart descriptions. Now, keep in mind, these are templates that you can use. If you have no idea where to start when it comes to building out a description, these are templates you can use. And by the time you see this video, there might be more templates in here. But since it's likely you already have a description filled out on YouTube, I'm gonna show you a different way to do it. So first, we're gonna go into my smart descriptions. You can see some of the descriptions that I have for different purposes based on where I'm streaming or what I'm uploading. But in order to make a new one, we're gonna click create new description. And for this one, since I make content for the Tube Spanner channel, I'm going to call this one Tube Spanner Description. And then I'm going to go into one of the videos that I've uploaded to the Tube Spanner channel. And I'm going to grab the important parts of this description that will likely be repetitive. I'm going to copy that. And I'm gonna come back into the description template. And I'm just gonna paste that in here. Now, if I wanna add emojis to this, since that's not something that's currently built in, I use a website for this called Emojipedia. And with Emojipedia, you can just search for whatever emojis you want. So in this case, I'm gonna copy this heart out. I'm gonna put it right here next to this. And I'm gonna hit paste. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here next to this, just to bring a little bit of attention to these. And then I'm gonna make a rocket for me. So it's a little bit different there. And since we are building out the Tube Spanner description, since Tube Spanner is a YouTube toolbox of sorts, I'm gonna use a toolbox here. I'm just gonna put that right up here at the very beginning just to help me quickly identify it when I'm choosing it from the drop down list. And then down here in the bottom, you can see which video platforms this is going to show up on. So here, because Tube Spanner integrates with StreamYard, I'm gonna make sure to have that selected. I'm actually going to uncheck TikTok. I'm going to uncheck Facebook as well, and I'm just gonna keep this on YouTube. So the reason I'm doing it for StreamYard is because if I schedule a live stream for the Tube Spanner channel, I'm going to do it through StreamYard. However, if I'm uploading a video, I'm going to do it on YouTube. So that's why I have both of these boxes checked. Now, just as a heads up, when it comes to this area right here, what these are is these are preset things that come from your smart text, which is something I'm gonna show you in a different video, but in a nutshell, what this is, is you can preset this information and you can just quickly add it to your description if you would like. Just in case you're watching this video first before you know about the smart descriptions, just so you know how to actually inject them in here, I'm going to hit the return key twice after this hashtag and just kind of put this down at the bottom for the example. Here I'm gonna go into playlist and I've structured mine a little bit differently. So it's not just a playlist for me, I'm using this kind of in a more unconventional way. But uh, I have a tools block that lists all the tools and services that I recommend, I'm gonna tap on that. And then you can see here how it added all of that without me having to do much. So I'll put a link to the video that helps you set up the smart links down in the description. So if you wanna check that out, you can. But in this case, I'm going to delete all of that that I just put in there and keep it with that core information that is the most important for this description. I'm going to add it to a favorite and then I'm gonna hit save. Now you can see here that in addition to StreamYard, my typical video descriptions, my YouTube creator news descriptions, my live stream descriptions, my AI tools descriptions, you can see that we now have a tube spanner description added here. Now, in order to add this into your descriptions when you upload, here's what you wanna do. First, you wanna make sure that you have the Tube Spanner browser extension installed. Once you do, you'll see it up here in the top right-hand corner, and it gives you a lot of really cool things. You have animated milestones in here. You can share your content directly from the platform. You have a content scheduler, a toolbox. You have AI in here that you can talk to and ask it questions about your channel. And you also have a quick jump into the dashboard and your account as well but it also has other cool features. For example, here, if I wanted to add that same exact preset description that we just made, what I would do here is I would just find the right place here in the description for it, and then I would click on preset description, and then you can see right here how I have the different descriptions, and this is why using those emojis is kind of helpful just to make sure that I can quickly and easily jump to things and it just makes it look a little bit more fun. So here, just for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and click on tube spanner description. And because I already have content in this form, it's gonna throw this red flag for me, which is fantastic and helpful. But in this particular case, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace what's in the description. 
And there you have it. So you can see once you set this up once how easy this is to use. And from this point, all you have to do is come in here and hit the return key and then put your video description here. Then of course, once your description is updated, you wanna hit save. To see more tutorials about how to use TubeSpanner in the best ways, make sure you click into this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.